is Jack Shaw, and I'm a EC3 uh, senior this year out of Central Arden High School, and I am in the engineering pathway. Hello, I'm Mr. Nagel, Project Lead the Way teacher here at the Early College Career Center. Our pathway is Project Lead the Way Engineering. Students can take Introduction to Engineering Design and Principles of Engineering at their three high schools, John, Central, and North. Students generally come to Early College Career Center their third year, their junior year, for digital electronics. And then the senior year, we have civil engineering, which is a engineering pathway. We have mechanical engineering, a computer integrated manufacturing course, which is a mechanical pathway. And we do a capstone course called engineering design development, where students design and develop a product within teams. Students are also able to take a robotics engineering course that we use the VEX Robotics platform as our main uh, operating equipment for that course. Industry certifications for the Project Lead Away Engineering Pathway or for Manufacturing and Electronics Engineering Pathway is the Autodesk Inventor Certified User. For the Civil Engineering Pathway, we have the Autodesk Revit Certified User Exam. Project Lead Away Engineering is a hands-on, project problem-based course, activities, projects and problems. I've always wanted to be an engineer, so I started taking the first couple classes, the prerequisites. In VEX Robotics, it's a giant worldwide competition that we started competing in, and the program's been open since 2014. It's a great program. We've actually gone to Worlds four times in a row. I'm hoping to go my fifth year this year. People like Alltech and Amore, they're demanding people right now to software engineers to work CNC machines and all those. And I actually want to uh, go into the Air Force as one of their um, contractors as an engineer and work on uh, aircrafts and all that. And the aviation class, I've picked up a few things from here and there in that class, but mainly uh, robotics, the engineering portion, electronics, that's a growing industry and that's what I want to try to take a place in. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Steven Rogers. I'm the teacher for the Flight and Aviation Pathway here at the Early College and Career Center. This is a, a part of the engineering program. If flying is not your thing or if uh, drones is not your thing either, uh, this would also give you a, a great background to pursue uh, any aviation maintenance based uh, careers. So helicopter mechanics, airplane mechanics, uh, aerospace engineers, designers. So for you 8th graders that are interested in aviation, if, if flying is your thing, if flying is what you want to do, know right off the bat that there is no age limit to start flight training. Okay, You can start flight training right now as an 8th grader. You just need to find you a certified flight instructor or go up to one of the flight schools up in Louisville, Cardinal Aviation or Louisville Aviation specifically, uh, and you, you can actually start flying with an instructor and logging that time. You can't solo until you're 16. But when you, after you turn 16, you can solo and then you can be fully certified to fly uh, at 17. AOPA actually has flight training scholarships out there uh, that you can apply for. They have student scholarships and teacher scholarships. And I myself got one of the teacher scholarships last year. So you can't say that nothing ever, you can't, nobody around here ever gets anything. I, I was a recipient of one of those and you can be too. Uh, and you'll never get it if you don't apply. So go out there and apply.